Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Sunday, December 11th. I'm here taking a stroll on the Mid Island Surf in the town of Ship Bottom here on Long Beach Island. Uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, here to share an updated fish report with y'all and uh, kind of a little bit of what's been going down the last few days. Uh, so, if you've been paying attention to reports, you've been getting out. Weather has been definitely churned up. Um, more recently, we've had some weedy conditions the last few days. Uh, before we had this kind of string or hamster wheel of storms that we've gotten stuck into here, uh, there were a good number of smaller fish on the beaches of LBI. Uh, they were sitting more in the pockets and pools, more so than the backside of the bar. Uh, I, I, the days I fished, I saw very few birds. Uh, there was a couple little bird plays that kind of came and went. Uh, didn't really see much bait, but uh, I can say that there was definitely a good number of smaller schoolie sized striped bass that were in the cuts uh, in little pools of water in tight to the beach. Uh, scaling down and fishing some lighter tackle was definitely the way to go about it. Smaller bucktails in the three quarter ounce range, maybe one ounce range would do the trick. Uh, also some smaller swimming plugs too. Uh, more recently, like I mentioned, the swells come up, number of different storms and some northerly blows. Uh, churned up surf right now, I'd say it's, I'd call it maybe four to five foot, even six foot um, on set. Definitely churned up, you see behind me lots of foamy white water uh, coming across the bars. There's also uh, a good amount of weed, some cabbage as I'm walking here at the high tide line. Um, it was low tide, it's low tide now about 3.30. Um, earlier today the high tide was way up the beach, so you can see as I'm strolling, that's the weed line there. Um, definitely, uh, definitely challenging conditions to say the least. If you're trying to fish lures like plugs, like swimming plugs uh, in weedy conditions, it's near impossible. Um, hunker now with bait and weight fishing bunker which has also produced some fish for the anglers fishing the LBI surf fishing tournament. Uh, today's actually the last day of that. Heard of a couple fish caught in the last few days, people battling through the, uh, the rough conditions, weedy conditions. Um, fishing a bait and weight, hunker down into a spot is definitely a difficult way to, to battle those conditions. Um, I find fishing small single hook lures, like a small jig, whether it's a lead head with a rubber, um, my first choice would be Kettle Creek Paddle Tail. Could also be a storm shad, tsunami shad, something like that. Uh, bucktail tipped with a strip, uh, maybe a curly tail or a paddle tail, something like that would, would definitely get the nod. Uh, as far as I, I'm concerned, you know, with the single hook, you cast the retrieve, um, shorter casts, sort of cutting into the wind a little more um, and fishing with the current as against to against the current, if that makes sense. Uh, when you get against the current or downwind, you start almost like raking, your line's just raking up the weed, uh, the current that's going by. So those are maybe some tips to help you battle through the conditions a little bit if you want to try to get out and make a few casts. Uh, water temperature was low, was um, was a little on the, the, the colder side. It kind of bounced up last few days and I guess more recently has come down again. Uh, I'll throw a little screenshot of the Barnegat Light um, Inlet Bay buoy so you can get a kind of feeling for what the water temperature is. Right now it's in the mid to upper 40s. Um, the water in the bay is definitely on the colder side. It was much more cold when we had that little cold snap. Uh, but more recently, the weather's been somewhat mild for, say, the early and mid part of December. Um, that's definitely helped out. Fishing was really, really good coming into this blow. I should say string of blows because it's been numerous storms together. And it looks like uh, we might get a little bit of a higher pressure for a day or two. I think Monday, Tuesday, we might have some high pressure. And then I think it's Wednesday, Thursday, we get another coastal low coming up. Uh, so it seems like it's been like one low after the other. Uh, but yeah, before all that kind of came around, the like, fish was pretty good. Uh, real good reports coming from up the beach aways. Uh, some more reports were coming in off LBI. It was kind of like the, the best stretch of fishing we had there. Really all fall um, for abundance, say numbers. Um, some anglers were catching five, 10, even 15 fish. A couple Sharpies, I know they had um, a couple dozen some mornings. Uh, I personally didn't get into too much of the good fishing action. Uh, a couple days I rolled up on the beach, drove on the beach, made some casts. I was kind of late to the party. I uh, had some obligations early in the mornings. Uh, recently, I haven't been out in the boat to kind of get in on the action. Um, obviously, the more recent days, the action of the boat's been kind of cut short or cut out entirely due to the, the uh, conditions, uh, wind and swell. Uh, I know that the tog fishing has been pretty good on the, uh, on the reefs and wrecks. I think the Barnegat Light Inlet probably has a few fish left. I haven't heard any direct reports from there, but I would say that's sort of towards the end of the season now. You could try. Um, that, that bite's definitely going to be slowing down, if not dead, uh, with the colder water temperatures. But really, all December and even into the new year, tog fishing can be very good. Uh, I have heard some striped bass in the back bay. Some, some anglers were kind of getting out, trying to stretch the line, 
getting some lines wet uh, and, and you know, decided to choose the backside rather than the front side with the, with the wind and conditions. Uh, I heard some good reports coming from the bay. Um, not so much closer to the inlets in the bay side, but more like mid-island, um, say mid-north, mid-south. If you know the docks, bulkheads, uh, bridges, you can get a, def def a bunch of different areas you can fish. Uh, small little lead heads, like I was mentioning before, some soft plastics, where it's a finesse, a zoom, uh, maybe a Z-Man, something like that, a little shads. Um, you know, light tackle stuff. These fish are going to be kind of moving in the bay, taking up their quote-unquote winter kind of staging areas, winter staging zones. Uh, these are the kind of the resin fish that we'll hopefully have here first thing in the spring. Uh, those are the fish that are here right now. Uh, most of the fish I've been hearing off the beachfront and seeing off the beachfront uh, have been on the smaller side. If you are looking to get on the surf and you want to kind of fish when you can, uh, definitely I would suggest taking a look at the weed lines on the beach. If you see there's a lot of weed in the water, uh, make a couple casts and move on. Um, there's 18 miles of beach here at LBI. A lot of times if one beach is weeded up, it's not the entire stretch of LBI is weeded up. I mean, that does happen. Uh, but sometimes the south end's clean, the north end's weedy. Um, I know a few days back, Barnaby Light was weeded up. Love Ladies was weeded up. But as soon as you kind of came a little further south on Harvest Cedars, North Beach, Surf City, it was clean as a whistle. Um, that being said, there's good looking water really stretched up along all of LBI. Uh, you'll definitely notice if you take a stroll or take a drive down the beach, we have an outer bar. That bar is kind of well known for LBI. We always had that outer sandbar. Uh, we got a good section of pockets, uh, good pockets of water stretched out all along. Uh, like I guess I mentioned before, I'm walking the town of uh, Ship Bottom here, not too far from the water tower, wherever it is there. I think it's behind me there. Um, you see, I'm almost on like a little point of sand here. You see that big cove back behind me. Uh, further ahead, there's a couple pockets. Beautiful water. Fish those bowls, fish those little pools, fish those troughs, uh, fish those light tackle lures. Bring out the lighter tackle rod where it's seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine foot. Light tackle, we're talking under three ounces, one, one ounce, three quarter ounce, ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half, bucktails. That's really all you need. Um, throwing two ounce stuff, three ounce stuff right now, it's just kind of a little overgunned uh, in terms of the lure game. These fish are smaller, say um, 18 to 22, maybe 23 inches. Uh, if you catch a keeper fish right now, that's pretty good. Those anglers that are putting their time in fishing the tournament, the final days of it, catching a couple keepers, um, are definitely, they know what they're doing. They're, they're putting time in, they're grinding, um, and, it, and you know, it shows. So congrats to those anglers that caught fish this fall. It definitely wasn't an epic one for the beaches of the LBI, but there's still some fishing to take place. Not gonna be those big quality fish that you really wanna hope and, and, and fish for off the surf, but um, good fishing should hopefully be taking place right into Christmas here. As long as these temps stay mild, the water temperature stays up, and these fish kind of move around. Uh, if you want to get geared up, fish from tech quarters right now, sort of the end of the season, we've got some sales going on. Stop by the shop, show you some new stuff that's coming out for next year. Um, we definitely got a, a bunch of cool stuff on sale right now. If you're looking to you know, maybe get a new rod or reel for a, a friend or yourself or a family member, or um, if you're looking to get you know dialed in here for next year, can help you out there as well. Spring will be here before we know it. Oh, so right now is the best time to think about maintenance. Uh, when you're putting things away for the winter time, whether you've already called the quits, maybe your boat's out winterized, uh, maybe you got a couple more days or a couple more weeks you want to put in, um, depending on what you're, what you're going for. If you're a tog angler, this is really prime time. You're just kind of getting geared up right now. Uh, but maybe you're putting things away. Uh, maybe you're only doing like a fluke tackle kind of, kind of person. Um, you know, putting stuff away wet, salty, sandy, uh, grimy, bloody. That's how you're going to get rusted guides. That's how you're going to get kind of corroded reel seats. That's how your uh, handle knobs and your reels and bearings and, and gears and stuff like that are kind of get all caked up and, and corroded, uh, rusty, what have you. Uh, now's the time to clean things up, whether that's as simple as spraying a little, say, Bow Shield T9 on a rag or WD-40 or 656 from uh, CRC on a rag and give it a quick little wipe down, uh, maybe a little pledge on a rag and wiping down the rod. Um, a little soap and water goes a long way. Uh, I'm not a big fan of hosing down tackle. Some people say that's a great thing to do. Personally, I think it's the worst thing you can do. Uh, but I, I really like a, a moist rag or wet rag, some soapy water, wash it up, um, wipe it down with, with another, uh, say, dryer rag, spray it down, protect it, give, give it that, that coating. Definitely keep your tackle looking tip-top shape now and throughout the life of it. Uh, but if you do have problems, you need, say, a new handle, so you need some bearings, uh, you want to do a clean lube yourself, we stock uh, all the, the best greases for fishing tackle for marine environment. Uh, we also stock a lot of real parts. If we don't have them, we can definitely get them. Uh, that being said, we also have in-house professionals full-time year-round doing service on rods and reels. 
whether that's uh, say a van stall or a pen, we're both a pen and van stall warranty center, factory authorized. Uh, maybe it's a Shimano, a VET, uh, Abu, Daiwa, any of the above, we can help you out and get you geared up and get you fixed up. Uh, stop by Fisher & Tech Wars now, drop every tackle if you're looking for a professional service, and we'll make sure that it's ready to rock and roll for you in the spring. Check me out here, but if you want to check us out at the shop, we're still open seven days a week, even though the season's uh, sort of dwindling down. Uh, we're just cutting our hours back tomorrow to like 7 to 7 during the week. Uh, I think it's going to be 7 to 8 on uh, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, 6 to 6. Uh, once Christmas comes around and goes, then we'll cut back a little more in January. But for now, we're open seven days a week. You guys need fishing tackle, you want to head out and get on some action with the TOG or Striped Bass, stop by and check us out here. We're located in Ship Bottom on Long Beach Island, also Fisherman'sHeadquarters.com. Have a great day.